اللي هو جود داي سو ناو وي ار جوينج تو ديسكاس تيرستريال اند كوستال نافيجيشن سو اتينج دي ديسكاس نيون اي سيلينجز نو اندر سيلينجز وي ويل تاكل كومبوزيت جريد سيركل سيلينج نو Okay, in order to solve for grid circle sharing, we have to calculate first the longitude where the track meets, no? As you can see in our illustration, that una yung ating A, that is our point of departure, and B is our point of arrival. Since in uh, composite grid circle ceiling, we will set a uh, latitude vertex in this uh, kind of ceiling. No? So we have to calculate the longitude where the track meets. No? The means yung entry point, no? the entry point where labeled as P1, no? the meridian or the longitude. Since we know already the latitude vertex, we have to calculate for longitude. No? So there is an entry and also there is a leaving or the exit point which labeled as P2. Now the formulas are given on the following. So cosine P1 is equal to tangent latitude 1 over tangent latitude vertex. When calculating the leaving of the maximum longitude, we use cosine P2 equal to tangent latitude 2 and over to tangent latitude vertex. Okay, then we have to solve for to find the initial course we have the sine angle A, no? We are equal to cosine latitude vertex over cosine latitude 1. Initial course is labeled same name as latitude 1 and same name as DLO. Since uh, there are two names there, you have to be careful in computing the true course. Okay, so to find the final course, sine angle bravo, no, is equal to cosine latitude vertex over cosine latitude 2. Again, when final course is leveled or leveling, you have to use the contrary name to latitude 2 and same name as DLO. Now we had an example here. From latitude 35 degrees 40 north and longitude 141 degrees east to a latitude 37 degrees 48 minutes north up to longitude 122 degrees 40 minutes west. Our limiting or the latitude vertex is 45 degrees. By composite sailing, we have to compute the following. A longitude where the track meet, A. Longitude when leaving the maximum latitude. Now, after computing those entry and exiting point, we have to calculate our initial course. Final course and the total composite distance. Now that we have discussed the following formulas, again, to find the total distance, there are three legs there, which shows AB1, the first leg, VB2, the last leg, and the B1, B2. 
according to our figure. So, formulas are given as follow. Sine latitude 1 for cosine AB1 equal to sine latitude 1 over sine latitude vertex inverse cosine. And again, we have to solve for VB2 legs sine latitude 2 over sine latitude vertex. V3 is equal to DLO subtract by the sum of P1 and P2. And in order to get the total value of B1, B2, we just simply P3 multiplied by 60 and again multiply to cosine latitude vertex. And the total distance is going to the three legs we have to add the three values no a b1 vb2 and b1 b2 okay this is the illustration of our composite grid circle circle sailing where we depart from point a to point b and the straight line from the middle which is our latitude 45 degrees now for the solution we have to list our latitude 1 latitude 2 and latitude vertex for easy reference again listed longitude 1 and longitude 2 over values 141 for departure and for the longitude arrival 122 degrees and 40 minutes west. So the difference or the sum of the DLO since we have a different name we have to add and if the sum is greater than 180 we have to deduct from 360. Now we have the answer of 096 degrees 20 minutes west. I is rather since we exceeded from west, so our name is is to find the longitude where the trap meet. Cosine P1 is again equal to tangent latitude 1 over tangent latitude vertex where our tangent latitude 1 is equal to 35 degrees 40 minutes over tangent 45 degrees with a value of 0 0.7177 and again we have to inverse cosine in order to have a value for P1 in degrees which his name is in order to get the longitude vertex one we have to add our initial longitude again if the value is greater than 180 we have to subtract to 360 that's why we have here 174 degrees 51.9 and then it's west because from eastern longitude and crosses it now is west again to find the longitude when leaving the maximum latitude we have the cosine P2, where again, we have to use the latitude 2 over tangent latitude vertex. So the value or output is 0 0.77568. Don't forget to inverse in cosine to get the value in degrees. 
And again, since we are looking for longitude vertex 2, we have to add the uh, longitude 2 where the value of our longitude vertex 2 is equal to 16148 minutes west. And to find the initial course, sine angle cosine latitude vertex over cosine latitude 1, since we have a vertex of 45 and our latitude 1, 35 degrees minutes, 40 minutes, equal to 0 0.87036 inverse sine, and you will get 60.5. Since our latitude 1 is a north, and our longitude is, the difference of longitude is east, since northeast is in the first quadrant, this is our true course. Okay, as we move to find the final course, to find the final course, since angle V is equal to cosine latitude vertex and latitude 2, since our vertex for the limiting latitude is 45 and over to latitude 2, which is 37 degrees to 48 minutes, with a value of 0 0.894.8962 in birth sign, and we will have a 63.49 degrees. And since our Latitude 2 is north, then we will name it in contrary. So we will use south. Same with DLO, which is east. So 63.49 southeast quadrant. So since he is, she is on the second quadrant, we have to deduct from 180. So, 63.5 degrees less to 180 degrees is equal to 116.5 or 117. True. Okay, now, moving on. To find the total distance, as we, can, as we discussed from earlier, we need the three legs. No? First leg is AB1. Cosine AB1 is equal to sine latitude 1 over sine latitude vertex. Sine latitude 35 degrees 40 minutes and the sine vertex of 45 with the total with the outcome of 0 0.82458 inverse cosine and put it in degree and multiply to 60 in order to get in miles. Now that we have first leg distance. We will calculate the last leg and later on the middle legs. Cosine BB2, where sudden latitude 2 over sine latitude vertex, where sine latitude 2 is equal to 37 degrees 48 minutes over sine 45 degrees 0 0.86678 outcome inverse cosine and you will get 29.91 degrees and then multiply it to 60 in order to get in miles lastly we will solve for b1 b2 
in order to solve 2b and b2 first we have to calculate p3 where the value dlo subtract to the sum of p1 and p2 96 degrees 20 minutes subtract to the value of a, de a sum of 44 degrees 08.1 plus 39.08 will have a total of 83.16.1 and then subtract 96 degrees 20 minutes to 83 degrees 16.1 with a value of 13 degrees 03.9 now that you have take the value of p3 in order to solve for the last leg p3 where 130391.91 will be multiplied to 60 and then multiply again to cosine vertex which is 45 degrees you will get the value of 554.3 miles so get to get the total distance we have to add the three legs which is a b one the first leg the second leg uh, the last leg and the middle legs where the total value is our total distance is 4416.3 miles okay that's all i wanted to share regarding composite great silica ceiling thank you for watching uh,